Sup peeps, today we're talking about the unsung hero of the Android world, and that's the Google Pixel 3a and its bigger brother, the 3 Axel. The Pixel 3 is a reminder to all smartphone users that in order to have a good time with the daily device, it doesn't have to try so hard to be everything to everyone. The Pixel 3a is my new go-to recommendation for anyone who wants the best value in a smartphone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hunter and this is my YouTube channel, Vision All Access. One of the biggest concerns as a Canadian these days is how can I save money on my incredibly growing cell phone plan? For most people who want to get that top flagship now, you're going to be paying monthly $115 to $120 depending on your carrier just to get the latest and greatest flagship. Does anyone else think this is insane and a little bit overblown? But what's a person to do if the providers are not gonna stand up and give us ways to afford these phones? Well, that's what the cell phone manufacturers are for. And today we're talking about Google's 3A and 3AXL, or as I like to call it, the 3 Axel. Yeah, but no, come on, not Axel, this is serious. So of course, as every single one of my phone videos start out, here are the specs of what you can expect in these phones. Uh, not definitely a top level processor, but not a bargain basement chip either. A decent amount of RAM at four gigabytes. I find that's kind of par for the course with Android and decent battery sizes to boot. So all in all, pretty awesome start. Let's be fair and start out with what I do not like about this phone and that's some of the ways they actually manage to save on the price tag. It does not have probably one of my favorite features, wireless charging. I made a big stink about this in my iPhone XR review. I love wireless charging, but keep in mind, this phone's main draw is going to be giving you a good performance package with a lower price tag. So unfortunately, sacrifices do have to be made. The last thing that, depending on how you look at it, might suck is the fact that this phone is not metal and glass. It's actually a polycarbonate build. So you got a plastic phone, but it actually doesn't feel cheap. This is why, depending on how you look at it, actually isn't too bad. I've held this phone myself and it feels pretty good in the hand, still feels pretty premium, has that nice matte back, and really, I don't really think this is a drawback, but I thought it was worth mentioning. And the great thing is, this is where the suckiness stops. This far, no farther. Because everything else about this phone is a definite win. Over the last couple months, I've actually been given the opportunity to talk with a lot of people about how they use their smartphones. And a lot of people, it's the same usage. They just use it for phone calls, texting, and light internet access or email. Not a lot of intensity going out there. And the Pixel 3a and 3 Axel are definitely ones that do that very well. Let's start out with that processor, so the Snapdragon 670. So no, it's not a Snapdragon 855, which is the 2019 processor du jour. This is actually an endurance processor. So it's not gonna give you the fastest processing, but it's definitely gonna aid in battery life. But now let's talk about what really, really makes this phone a definite champ, and that's the camera. Outstanding photography. What most of these manufacturers try to do with more cameras, the Pixel actually does right with just one. Its photography is awesome, and ever since their night sight update, which gives better low light performance, it has been just outstanding. <coughs> and here's the great thing, the Pixel 3a and 3 Axel actually have that same camera that's in their flagship Pixel 3. Awesome portrait mode photos. Front and back cameras are absolutely outstanding. So my final verdict on the Pixel 3a and Pixel 3 Axel, if you don't wanna spend that moolah and still get a incredibly capable smartphone while handling a few of its drawbacks, there is no contender to the Pixel 3a. I'll be honest in saying that if this phone would have been released when I was looking for my new one, I might have actually gone for the Pixel 3a and not gone iPhone. Thanks you guys for joining me on Vision All Access today and be sure to subscribe if you wanna see these videos keep coming. And don't forget to follow my social media links. We got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm way more active on there than I am on YouTube. 
So if you want to keep up with mobile news and movie news, feel free to give a subscription and follow me and we will talk to you again on the next Vision All Access video. Take care, guys.